Then with the aid of the proper tools, unscrew the lock ring and cone on the fork. Withdraw the speedo cable and remove the fork. The dismantling of the front suspension and handlebar is thus complete. Now we begin the reassembly. Replace the front fork, inserting the speedo cable screw on the cone to an extent that the fork has no axial play but can rotate freely. Lock the cone with its lock ring. Replace the lower part of the handlebar. Screw the handlebar bolt into the stem. Before replacing the upper part of the handlebar, check that the cables are arranged in this way to avoid chafing or sharp bends when steering. Connect the speedo cable, insert the speedo bulb and then fit the upper part. Replace the suspension springs, their guides, then with the help of the spring compressor tool fit the trailing links, rebound buffers and grease nipples. Now replace the wheel. Connect up the front brake cable and the speedometer drive cable. It is well at this stage to proceed with the greasing of the control cables. Replace the horn casting, mudguard and lastly the headlamp. To check the battery acid level, unscrew the two nuts fixing the battery support to the frame brackets. Add distilled water until liquid level is about a quarter of an inch higher than the battery cell separators. This operation should be repeated at least once a month, while in hot weather about every two weeks. It is advisable now and again to check that the handlebar fixing bolt is absolutely tight, as well as the wheel nuts. Now replace the panels and the reassembly is complete. Powerful and elastic, gives an output of 6.5 horsepower. Chain transmission ensures an extremely quiet and smooth functioning. The sliding cursor low revolution type gearbox permits an easy and highly selective gear change. The 10 inch wheels with the specially designed suspension give the machine a stability and safety factors without precedence.
you have the 150 Li, the speedy, elegant, and economical.